Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I would like to represent my second uh, my second paper. Let me share my Okay, this is my paper. This is my the second paper. Is the title is Antagonistic Activity of Cellulose Producing Yeast Isolated from Cocoa Fermentation Against Mold Pathogenic Fungi Collected from the Damaged Cocoa Fruit. This is the all of the authors, me and my co my students and. My colleagues, Ibu Atin Supiani, Dwi Lingisi, Sabrina, Professor Hisam El Shashi, uh, Jordalin, Ch and Chatur Siherwanto. This is a table of the content, content of introduction, material and method, result, and conclusion. As we know, cocoa bean fermentation is a spontaneous process, and, there, and this um, have a uh, lot of micro include in this process. For example, first is yeast, and the second is lactic acid bacteria, acetic acid bacteria. And after all of the uh, completed of the cocoa bean fermentation, it will be produced uh, some of the uh, uh, mold. In the cocoa food production, one of the most important that can be F to not. Uh, will be dangerous in our health is cocoa production contamination by mold pathogens. The mold pathogen common occur mostly during the post harvest. The one of the microbe is uh, Aspergillus penicillium, and the most pathogenic is Pithoptera palmifora. Currently, the control pathogenic mold is using pesticide. As we know, pesticide is very dangerous for our health. Uh, for to uh, the alternative to the pill control the mold pathogen in cocoa fermentation, we can use the antagonistic uh, antagonistic uh, micro. Uh, for example, is uh, yeast. For example, the the, the yeast uh, can be good in the biocontrol production. Redotarula or, or meal, which Cornelia. Uh, the main of the, the the main of this purpose is uh, of the study is uh, to evaluate an antagonistic activity of cellulose producing yeast isolated from cocoa fermentation against pathogenic uh, fungi collected from the the uh, cocoa fruit in Central West Java. This is the methodology, sample collection, determination, source activity, antagonistic activity, and observation, the antagonistic activity uh, against a mold pathogen. And the result of our result is we found almost 128 yeast isolated from cocoa fermentation and 35 more isolated from the damaged cocoa. So we do two uh, we do the two research. The result is we we have uh, yeast, we have yeast and we obtain the uh, more pathogenic from the cocoa uh, from the fruit of uh, cocoa. And about our result, we do the cellulitic activity test result of yeast isolate. The total 77 representative isolate from 128 yeast isolate collected from cocoa fermentation are positive for, for the cellulose. We use uh, the presence of a clear zone, the media after dropping the conglomerate. Why we use congruent? Congruent solution is able to interact the polysaccharide containing beta and uh, delta glucan units of cellulose. The principle of congruent staining in the reagent will diffuse into the agar and absorb the polysaccharide chains. 
as we know, we have this is the exact the points here. From this, this, and this is the feature. A pleasure was performed around the yeast colony so we, on CMC. The result of the studies show that the present cellulose activity by the yeast is from the cocoa fermentation. The process breaking down the cellulose into a similar, simpler structure. For example, one is the glucose. In this glucose react with re reaction with three five denitro salicylic acid, it will exhibit a color change from the yellow red to the red red brown. And this is the activity of cellulose. And from this uh, picture, we do the antagonistic activity of by yeast is already against mold pathogen. From the graph, we, we see, based on the graph of here, it can see the highest average distribution of the risk occurred on the eighth day. There is so many mechanism competition of the, between the yeast and the mold. The yeast can attack of the mold with the uh, for, for example, for mechanism. For example, uh, the yeast competition for space and nutrient tolerance to high ethanol concentration, secretion compounds such as toxins. This mechanism in our result is hyperparasitism ability. Why hyperparasitism ability? We will see from the microscopic we see the hefer, the hefer of the the hefer of the heat, the hefer of the moon it's become fractured and smaller in size. This the cell of the cell of the yeast attack the hefer of the uh, mold. The mechanism hyperparasitism can also cause by cellulitic activity or the secretion of hydrolytic enzyme that can decrease the fungal wall. And this is the result of the characteristic of the yeast solar and mold pathogens. You see, based on the observation, the yeast have the colonies and surface is very different one to each other. With the butyrous textures, raw, mucoid, white color pink, which is and filamentous. And con our conclusion for our research is we, we obtain the 128 isolate and 38 isolate uh, pathogenic bone and the yeast have activity cellulose with uh, and before uh, besides the activity cellulose this yeast can against the mold pathogen from the cocoa fruit most of the isolates show the decline after four days and eight days there is a competition nutrients and hyper participant for the mold of pathogen Thank you very much. The authors are very good for to the RPF Kemalis Takiba. Panitian Terapan, uh, on behalf of me, with the title of Aplikasi Pamir Probiotik untuk Pengembangan Prototype Center for Risik Akau Indonesia. And we turn to Universitas Negeri Jakarta. They uh, provide us all of this my group. And we hope this is one of the best one of the best line our research in cocoa fermentation thank you very much